everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and this year's Halloween countdown, it continues, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most unique custom Ghostbusters figures, toys, we've ever taken a look at. And that's because it is based off of a throwaway line, a joke seen in the first film, and a character that really maybe shouldn't get an action figure, but he does have a figure, so we gotta take a look at it. I'm, I'm excited either way. Yeah, you know this guy, the one that's waiting for the elevator who thinks the Ghostbusters are some kind of cosmonauts? He actually has his own action figure now. Kind of, but not really. And I mean, you've seen Ghostbusters. You know that in that scene, Bill Murray, he clarifies that they aren't cosmonauts. Instead, they're there to bust a cockroach. That's gotta be some cockroach. Bite your head off, man. And because of that joke, Phantasm Toys have released these, the Roach on 12. Once again, a custom non-licensed Ghostbuster figure that takes that guy that's waiting for the elevator and crossbreeds him with that apparent cockroach that's waiting up on the 12th floor. And right here, there are two different renditions that are available. You've got the orange, which is the standard Roach on 12, and then you have the semi-translucent one, which is the shadow variant. The packaging art was done by the highly talented Baducci Studios, and it does depict, once again, that roach coming out of the elevator on the 12th floor. Now, this is part of Phantasm Toys' Crypt Creepers line. And recently here on the Ghostbusters News Channel, we took a look at a couple of the other Crypt Creepers figures. The ones that were tried for murder, given the chair, none other than the Scary Scalaries. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these open here. I'm gonna start with the orange standard release of the Roach on 12. It should also be mentioned that these packages, they can be easily opened. So if you do wanna, you know, have them on display out of the box and then pop them back in and, you know, have them on display on card, you can do that as well. And here is the little guy outside of his clamshell. And let me get this out of the way right here. I totally get and understand that this figure may not have the same appeal as those Scalari figures, but this little guy, he's just fun and is certainly a deep cut for a Ghostbusters fan and collector. And as already said, this figure is that guy that was waiting for the elevator and that cockroach that is never seen. I mean, that cockroach doesn't even exist, but it's what you'd get if you combine the two together. So design wise, yes, it's a cockroach that's been animated, almost looking like a cartoon character. And then given that guy's trench coat, hat, cigar, heck, even has his mustache. And along with the standard release, let's go ahead and do a quick look at the shadow variant. This one, it is semi-translucent, and honestly, depending on where you put it, it could actually be mistaken for a real cockroach. The figure itself, from a sculpting standpoint, it is identical, there's no change here, aside from the custom-dyed ABS resin that was used. Now, given the color of the cockroach here and his size, he does fit in perfectly well with the real Ghostbusters figures. I mean, that's kind of the idea of Phantasm Toys' Crypt Creepers line. As for the most part, they're made to look like they would fit in as a pack-in ghost as part of the old Kenner toy line. And I gotta say, did they ever succeed with the Roach on 12? And I'm kind of curious between these two, which one do you prefer? The standard orange release or that shadow variant? As I just said, I like the fact that the shadow one can kind of almost be mistaken for real cockroach. I mean, that's just eerie and creepy and freaky. But I do feel like the detail work on the orange one definitely comes through a little more. And with that said, I guess my collection now has a cockroach infestation problem. I mean, not really a problem. I love these little guys. And if you'd like to add these to your collection, we got that purchase link down below in this video's description. They're only available for a limited time. So once again, be sure to head on over to Phantasm Toys right now and pick up your very own Roach on 12. As always, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description. And I'll see you right back here next time.